Hey, it's Metacosis Perfect Genetics, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our playlist called Microbiology and Infectious Diseases. In the last video, we talked about Staphylococcus epidermidis. Today, it's time to turn our attention to Staphylococcus saprophyticus. Give me some urinary tract infection action. With that said, now let's get started. This is my playlist on microbiology and infectious diseases. Please watch these videos in order. Let's start by answering the question of the previous video. Can you mention three diseases with a positive Nikolsky sign? Yes, indeed. Staph scalded skin syndrome, toxic epidermal necrolysis, and pemphigus vulgaris. Of course, there are others. But please note that Nikolsky sign will be negative in bolus impetigo. As you know, microbes are bacteria, fungi, viruses, and parasites. And the field of microbiology deals with bacteriology, fungology or mycology, virology, and parasitology. By using the gram stain, we can divide them into gram positive and gram negative bacteria. And if you're gram positive, you're either a coccus or a bacillus. Gram negative is similar. Although you can argue that we can also have coccobacillus, which is kind of in between. All right, I'm a gram positive organism. Then what? Are you a coccus or a bacillus? I am a coccus. Then what? Well, are you catalase positive or catalase negative? I do possess the enzyme catalase, i.e. I can convert H2O2 into oxygen and water. I am catalase positive. Well, congratulations, you are a staphylococcus. Then what? Are you coagulase positive or coagulase negative? I do have coagulase. Congratulations, you are staph aureus. I do not have coagulase. Well, you could be staph epidermidis or staph saprophyticus. How do I tell the difference? Novobiosin. Okay, that's an antibiotic. If novobiosin kills the bacteria, it was staph epidermidis. If the bacteria is resistant to novobiosin, however, it was staph saprophyticus, which is today's topic. So staph saprophyticus is a gram-positive coccus that is catalase-positive, coagulase-negative, and novobiosin-resistant. That was clean, unlike the urine of a patient with staph saprophyticus infection. Staph saprophyticus is gram-positive, catalase-positive, coagulase-negative, since it's a staph. Oh, they cluster together. Yeah, and they are purple. Why? Because they are gram-positive. Diseases caused by staph saprophyticus are urinary tract infections. Infect my urethra, urethritis. How about my urinary bladder, cystitis. How about my ureters, ureteritis? How about the renal pelvis and the nephrons of the kidney, pyelonephritis? Pause and review. In the last video, we talked about staph epidermidis. Remember the biofilm, slimy layer, long dwelling catheters, staph epidermis will attach to them, causing bacteremia, subacute bacterial endocarditis, mechanical valve failure, prosthetic device failure, and sometimes immune complex mediated glomerulonephritis. Diagnosis similar to Staph aureus, however, Staph epidermidis is coagulase negative. How do I treat if it is sensitive? Ox clocks, digloxin F, but if it's resistant, you give vancomycin. Don't forget, Staph epidermidis is gram positive, catalase positive, coagulase negative, urease positive, novobiosin sensitive. Now let's look at Staph saprophyticus from Picmonic. See the link in the description box to try them for free. Staphylococcus saprophyticus. Here's a staph with sapphire. Staph saprophyticus. Gram positive. Here is the angel. Coccus. Cocked eyes. Catalase positive. Here is a positive cat, but coagulase negative. Negative clogs. Staph saprophyticus is novobiosin resistant. Here is the navy. Bison resistant. Unlike Staph epidermidis, which was novobiosin sensitive, Staph saprophyticus is urease positive. The diseases caused by Staphylococcus saprophyticus are urinary tract infections, including urethritis, cystitis, ureteritis, and pyelonephritis. 
Quiz time! Is Tafsap propheticus the most common cause of urinary tract infections? Let me know the answer in the comments. You'll find the answer key in the next video in this playlist called Microbiology and Infectious Diseases. Here is everything you need to know about Staph saprophyticus in one beautiful slide. You could be asymptomatic or symptomatic. Asymptomatic, why? Because Staph saprophyticus is a normal flora in the urinary tract of some individuals. Or it could be symptomatic, hashtag urinary tract infections. This is called honeymoon cystitis, more common in females than males, owing to the fact that females have a shorter urethra. Symptoms of urinary tract infections include frequency, urgency, burning dysuria, frequency, urgency, burning dysuria, frequency, urgency, burning dysuria. If I do a urinalysis, I'll see pus in the urine. All of this is what? Urethritis, okay. Add to this suprapubic pain and suprapubic tenderness. Before you know it, I have cystitis, inflammation of the urinary bladder. Add to all of this some fever and costovertebral angle tenderness, and now it is pyelonephritis. Diagnosis, pus in the urine, organisms in the urine. As you know, the organisms are gram positive, but be very careful because they are coagulase negative, unlike Staph aureus. They are novobiosin resistant, unlike Staph epidermidis. Treatment is antibiotics that cover gram positives. Speaking of antibiotics, I have an antibiotics course on my website, medicosisperfectionalis.com, 40 videos with questions and cases, and my Perfectionalis Ultimate Notebook, plus a mind map to help you memorize those antibiotics. We're talking antibacterials, antifungals, antivirals, and antiparasitic medications. Or you can try my brand new surgery high yields course also at medicosisperfectionalis.com. So this 70% promo code expired originally, so I renewed it and it's about to expire again. Use promo code FISTULA to get a 70% discount. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Go to Picmonic for animated medical mnemonics. Thank you for watching. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.